I'm here with Bill from Barco, known as the Laser Guy, and today Barco has one of, you know, I would say, the biggest news of CinemaCon, and that is because Laser is really coming on this year. It's the year of the Laser, there's no doubt about that, and that is because Bill and Barco are showing new blue phosphor laser um, Blue laser phosphor. Blue laser phosphor. Um, retrofit possible, but full turnkey solutions as well for their C and eventually their B range of projectors. Now, being the technical guy that I am, I like to ask the technical questions. And uh, going to these, you know, first of all, I did see some uniformity improvement. Mm -hmm. I did potentially see some contrast improvement, mm -hmm. uh, but no real numbers as yet to share. Uh, no, no real numbers, uh, but uh, since you've asked, I will have the guys uh, measure the system in the off hours tonight, and we'll get back to you with some numbers. But uh, um, unfortunately, we don't have the best ambient light conditions to show off the contrast, but I think uh, most of the people that saw the demo would agree that it's uh, really unexpectedly good contrast even in a room that has a lot of you know light colored ceiling and so forth so but we'll get we'll get you numbers uh, with the with the caveat that it's measured in this room and not in a laboratory so cool and and just so because you're because there's so many new laser product coming out to a degree. Can you please just quickly go over the full range again from, from the top down sure. and availability? So, because you've got a lot going on, so I prefer it to come from you. Okay, uh, thanks uh, for the opportunity. So last year we introduced our flagship 60,000 lumen uh, big, screen, big, big screen 3D projector and we've gotten some good early traction and, and field experience with that but there was always the intention to provide that in lower brightness levels. So at the show, we're introducing the three more models of the DP4K60L. There's a 45K lumen, a 30K lumen, and a 22K lumen version of our RGB flagship projector. Um, most of the specs, uh, other than brightness, are common. Contrast ratio is uh, 2750. Uh, for 4K, that's, uh, that's good. Um, so those are all uh, announced products we have data sheets for. Uh, the 60 and the 45 are shipping today. Uh, the 30 and the 22L will ship in the second half of this year. So that's our first shot at committing to the full range of brightness levels with a premium laser projector, single projector solution. Uh, in the first quarter of next year, we'll introduce the first of a series of retrofit models, uh, which will also be available as turnkey solutions with a new projector. But uh, we're going to start with the C-Series in the first quarter of next year. Uh, that's where the bulk of the installed base is. And it's our commitment to customers that have recently purchased projectors that want to get into laser early. Um, so they'll be able to pull out the lamp put in the laser module, and this will be a blue pumped phosphor laser module. Uh, they are not required to change anything else in the projector in terms of the media block or the 3D system they have installed, so it's truly agnostic in terms of all the other uh, installed base equipment. Uh, if they want, they can upgrade to an Alchemy Series 3 integrated cinema media processor uh, to get uh, greater capability for the same projector uh, and also, it's very exciting from my standpoint, uh, the ability to show, easily show uh, alternative and live content out of the same media yeah, processor. I, I covered that okay. device okay. last year and it was very good. Okay. Um, after the C-Series, toward the middle of the year, we'll also offer retrofits up to 30,000 or more lumens. We haven't decided on where the top end is yet. Uh, but the big message here is uh, laser uh, blue pump laser phosphor uh, is not a toy, as some people have called it. Uh, we've known for a long time it's not going to be a toy, and we'll be able to cover the standard cinema range from 5,000 lumens up to uh, 30 or 35,000 lumens without technology. So that'll be available in both 2K and 4K options, and then eventually we'll do the S series and complete the range. So Are you actually, oh, S series too, yeah. fantastic. Uh, that'll come last for a variety of reasons. Um, 
to hit the you know the crossover point for total cost of ownership for a small projector with a small lamp is is the most challenging. But by that point, we'll have significant volume and scale right, yes. that, that will be able to offer laser all the way across the range. So for premium, we'll go from 22 to 60, and for the uh, the cost conscious uh, customer, uh, we'll have both the retrofit and the new uh, new solutions from five to 30 plus thousand lumens. So going forward, it's all laser for Barco. That's right. Um, and just some of the stats which really um, bring laser forward, for example, uh, I've been told, unlike the NEC, which is 50% at 20,000 hours, you're saying you'll be 80% um, at 20,000 and at 30,000 you'll be? Um, what we're saying at this moment yes. uh, is uh, 30,000 hours with no more than 50% light loss and 20,000 hours with uh, approximately 20% light loss. Now, this, this that's is a, running at max power. Yeah, well, this, but this is extremely important because um, Sure. It, it really uh, denotes the sort of uh, return on the investment, and that's why laser makes sense. And the fact that you've gotten those numbers so f a lot better yeah. uh, it gives you an idea that how far laser has come in a, a short period of time, and it'll probably get even better in another two or three years. And it's just like you're saying, it is, is, it is a laser future. Yeah. And this is one thing I wanted to make clear to people because. Um, a lot of people went out to the VPF, they've all, you know, everyone's bought over the last 10 years in one way, shape or form. That equipment's going to last between 10 and 15 years at a guesstimate. So in the next five years, a lot of you are going to be replacing your projectors. And it, you're not going to be replacing it with uh, Xeon-based projectors by the look of what has happened today at CinemaCon and what Barco has presented. So we need to take that on board. I would certainly not advise it. Uh, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Um, no, laser technology is improving day by day, and uh, one, one thing I really want to emphasize um, is the lifetime of the laser illumination system is really what is new. Uh, that's really what's bringing laser into the market. Um, so we have really focused on designing thermal management to maximize the efficiency, reliability, and lifetime of the laser engine. So. We do go maybe a little overboard on the cooling, but that's how we can be confident that we'll get at least the numbers that we're quoting. That's right, and, and laser, uh, laser lifetime is pretty much directly attributed to the cooling and the temperature of the that's systems. Right. So in the, in the, just to uh, give you a little contrast between the uh, premium laser system, which being our first product, we wanted to really uh, provide uh, the lifetime and the reliability and the, and the brightness level. We use, a, uh, uh, we use a chiller system and we actually bring the lasers to a very cool temperature. That's what allows us to get the, uh, the 30,000 hours at, at at least 80% of the initial brightness. In order to get closer to the required price point for the, uh, uh, we call it the, the TCO champion, line of blue pump phosphor engines, um, it's an it's a engineering trade-off. So if, if you really cooled the lasers there with a chiller, let's say, you could get much longer lifetimes at higher power, but then you'd have the, the additional cost of the bigger cooling system. But on the blue phosphor systems, yep. does the blue wheel have a life expectancy and have to be replaced as well? Um, the, the system the lifetime uh, system goal for the laser engine is 30,000 hours and uh, uh, without the replacement, so. Okay, cool. I'll just say that. Okay. That. <laughs> anyway, that's James Garden with Barco and Bill, the, the laser guy, and it's a, a great news for uh, cinema owners going forward and the reliability and the, you know, better heat, lower, you know, 40% lower um, power consumption on general. There's just lots and lots of good stories to tell with going to laser. So thanks, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate uh, your time. Thank you very much. That's James Gardner at CinemaCon uh, 2015. Bye for now.